just saw that <clears throat> oh child that there's going to be no load shedding today so <clears throat> i've decided that i'm going to cook i'm going to cook um from Neil's recipe i actually did try to do this a little while back <clears throat> recovering from flu please 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 <sighs> don't mind how fluey I feel um, so I'm gonna be making food I'm just gonna chill out for maybe like another like 40 minutes or so and then I'm gonna start cooking and um, I hope you guys enjoy this and you go out and buy Neil's book <laughs> and I'm gonna feel accomplished if I cook today so cool Let's get cooking. Lazy my coat. Swear to God, that's me. <coughs> you know what? If when I was growing up, there was a blender at home. Flyers, of course. If there was a blender at home when I was growing up, I promise you, I promise you I wouldn't have hated cooking as much as I did. Because the most tedious part of cooking is the chopping. And the only thing I chop is green peppers and onions now. Everything else, I blend, I mince, and chop it up in the blender. Because why do you have to work so hard? Guys, I can't believe we're going to do our and they're preparing supper for Sunday. But umuntu, I cake around. 
honestly am i really dating if i'm cooking for myself let's see what the book says it says heat a little oil on medium heat if your stove is up to a six i think medium heat is like between three and four i'm just going to choose four yeah so take the onion garlic and chilies we're cooking in the kitchen It's a real last bit Give a fuck about a trick I'm some real last shit And we really with this shit Put this pussy on your lip Give a fuck about the dick I get that and then I I grab my shit and do not When I used to cook at home I was so scared of burning food That for the duration of cooking I would literally stay in the kitchen the whole time but some way somehow i'd still burn the food mm. is it because it's a monday tomorrow hi this song is there I'm not going to take leave on Friday. You think you're going to take? Leave. On? On Friday. Why? Just to rest or what? Hmm? Did you why? Just to rest, Noma? Yep, just to rest. I got a birth with my nigga every season. Real hacker shit, babe. I got one or two days. If you seen it last night, I'll say shit the next day. Let me try the boat, babe. Kiss me in the road, babe. It go down on that brown, now we going both ways. I can read your mind, gotta say that shit. Should I take your love? Should I take that deal? Got a whole lot of options, cause you know a bitch popping. I'm a high girl, so you know it's shit stopping. Real ass nigga, give a fuck, my bitch. This is what it is, this is five stack. Give me a call, see, get some much that I hit. This is a hot girl, so much that I know she got a lit. Really? No, she got a lit. Hot girl, so much that I know she got a lit. No, she got a lit. Hot girl, so much that I know she got a lit. I just put in water into the pot and I'm going to continue watching hot girls or hotties worldwide <laughs> I'm joking uh, hottie world while the food cooks for some time I haven't thought of what I'm gonna eat as a side I have corn so I think I'm gonna have corn and potatoes? Do I even have potatoes in the sauce? I highly doubt it. Wow. I'm actually so excited to be having a nice home cooked meal by myself. I mean, made by myself. I'm not happy to be having it on my own. It's definitely not what I'm happy about. This is the green juice from Woolies. I really like this juice. It tastes so good for a green juice. I still have the, the label here, which is weird because I washed them before I put them away. I don't know why I didn't remove the label. But since it's there, the gloss is from at home. I did a TikTok on this. So it's irregularly shaped. How cute. Love her. Anyway. Hardy World. Okay, we're almost done. There's the lamb. I made some butternut as a side. I made rice. I didn't really want rice, but yeah. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is 
some sweet corn. Ready? Ready. Rice. Ready. Time to eat. Baby, I love you. I need you here with me all the time. Baby, we meant to be. You got me smiling all the time. to dig in but I'm certain it tastes as good as it looks so yeah I'm about to dig in guys thank you so so much for watching for joining me and I hopefully I'll see you in my next video Listen, this is Sunday meal for real. This is a Sunday meal for real. The lamb is so tender, and you know, I've always underestimated cooking time. Like, if I need to eat, I need to eat. So, I'm cooking everything on high heat. But because I gave myself time today, my mom always says, actually, my mom has this thing where she literally is just like, because one thing about me, I'll start cooking at 6 p.m. and try and make sure the food is ready by 8. Do you know how tough that beef will be? <laughs> So now I really do understand the concept of giving yourself time to cook. What a beautiful slow Sunday. I'm going to do this more often. I'm going to do this more often. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to continue watching my show while I dig into this delicious food courtesy of the lovely Dine with Nero. And if you haven't, please buy her book so you can also make homey hearty meals like this one. It's not a promo. I'm just putting you on. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye-bye.